All right, we'll push F12. We want to choose our USB. So we will boot from our Pony USB drive. And this is booting into the Arch Linux installation ISO. What we're going to cover today, guys, is a vanilla Arch Linux installation uh, just using the Arch Linux ISO, no scripts at all. Uh, we are going to have an encrypted Lux root directory. We're going to have a swap file and we're going to have some of the tech heart spice that you guys like that includes a grub theme. It'll also have a Plymouth theme that makes your unlocking your Lux encryption device a lot nicer looking. And it's going to include something you might not want to install, but I'm using a TUI reader called Lie instead of SDDM or LightDM. I think it's a display manager. So uh, it's going to be a vanilla Arch Linux install with a Lux encrypted device and a couple cookies on top. All right, we are booted into the Arch Linux installation ISO. Should we get rocking? Let's go. The first thing I'll do guys, and this is just for you, I'm going to set font and that's in, I think, user, share, keyboard, console fonts, and I'll just set it to the sun font. That'll be fun. It'll make it a little bit bigger for you guys. So the first command is locale CTL, and we're going to do list key maps rep US because I'm in the United States. That's going to return everything that contains US. And I see uh, just regular US is for me. I'll clear the screen. And now we'll just load keys US or whatever your country code was. Clear. I'm going to run an IPA. If you had an Ethernet cord plugged in, you'd see an IP address down there. I do not. So I need to get internet on this box. I'm going to do that with IWCTL and I'm just going to type dash dash passphrase and my Wi-Fi password. Then I'm going to do station WLAN zero, which I can see up there. Yours might be different. And then I'm going to put connect and my SSID name. And I'll just run a ping 8.8.8.8 to test. Oops. One too many eights. And we're connected. So I'll clear the screen. Now that we're online, let's first install pacman-sy, it has to be sy, reflector. And this will install reflector onto our Arch Linux ISO. But what is reflector? Reflector is a really cool app that tests the speed and other things of mirrors and will allow us to add a mirror list to the install ISO and our Arch Linux installation. So let's run reflector-c. And for me, it's going to be US, uh, that's your country code. Uh, dash A12, they have to be live within the past 12 hours. Dash dash sort by rate, I think. Yeah, that's speed rate. And then dash dash save uh, to etc. Pacman.d mirror list. We'll let that run. It'll take a little while, but it'll get us the fastest mirrors. All right, that's done, I'm gonna clear. If you'd like to view that output, you can do a less on et cetera, Pac-Man D mirror list, and you can see uh, that Reflector went through and found the fastest servers and added them for us. I'm just gonna quit and clear. And uh, next, we'll run a quick Pac-Man dash SYY just to update with those mirrors. And uh, now we need to find out what uh, device we're going to install to. We'll do an LS Black. SDB for me is my USB stick. So I'm working with SDA today. Okay, so now depending on your device name, you'll run a gdisk slash dev slash xxx. And for me, that's SDA. We're going to press N to make a new partition. Partition number one, we can just do enter for first sector plus 200 megabytes. Now we want to do an L and uh, we're going to search for EFI so we know the EFI code and it's EF00. So we'll enter that to make that first partition an EFI system partition. Now we'll press N and yeah, we can press enter for partition two, enter for the first sector available 
enter for the last sector available and enter for that too because we just need Linux file system. Now press W and Y and that's it. Appear. Now we'll just check that. We can do an LS block and we see SDA1 is 200 megabits and SDA2 is the remainder of the drive. Also notice uh, SDA2 is where we want to encrypt. That's our main root uh, drive. The command we'll run to set up that Lux encryption is crypt setup dash y dash v for verbose show me as much as it can and then luks format with a capital f i'm using dev sda2 make sure to enter your device name you'll have to type in yes with capital letters here yes and then your password twice Okay, I'm gonna clear. And now that we've made that Lux uh, device, we're gonna open it with crypt setup, open on slash dev SDA2. And then we have to name it. I'm gonna name mine LUKS root. Type in your password and crypt setup will open it. Next, we're gonna format those two partitions. And now notice this, since we've opened that uh, Lux partition, it's now at dev mapper and the name you gave it. So let's format that. And then we'll format the fat partition that's our EFI boot drive at dev SDA1 for me. Now we can run LS Black just to see. Dev FDA 1 is a 200 meg partition and Lux root is now open and it's a crypt device. Let's move on. We're going to start to mount our partitions. So mount dev mapper Lux root slash mount or MNT. Then we'll make directory MNT slash boot. And we can mount dev SDA 1 to mount boot. We'll clear and do another LS black. And now you can see the setup. We are all ready to go. Before we troot in, we have to do a pack strap. Pack strap allows you to install applications onto a mounted SDA2 or DevMapper Lux root to mount. Um, so anyway, we're going to do a pack strap slash MNT. And the packages that we want are base, Linux, Linux dash firmware, Vim, Oh, and then either, if you're running an AMD machine, it'd be AMD-Ucode, or if you're running an Intel machine, it's Intel-Ucode. So let's run that pack strap. Once pack strap finishes, I'll clear the screen, and I'm gonna run Gen Fstab dash capital U slash MNT, two brackets, slash MNT, etc. Fstab. Just to see that it went where it was supposed to go, we can do a cat, MNT, etc. FSTAB. And there's our FSTAB setup with UUIDs, which is great. Now we're ready to troot into our setup. So I'll run arch dash troot on slash MNT. And there we are. We're trooted into our setup. Now let's create our swap file. We'll use fallocate dash L. I'm gonna make a 16 gigabyte swap drive. And I'm going to make that swap file in root swap underscore file. That's simply a file that we created in the root directory. Change its permissions with chmod 600 on slash swap file. And then make swap on swap file. I tried to do all those commands at once. It's make swap. <laughs> swap file. And then swap on slash swap file. One other thing we'll have to do though, is we can edit etc. fstab. We'll need to add our swap file into our fstab so it mounts every time we boot. We'll type slash swap underscore file. I'll tab. I'll tab twice just to match these two people. This is none. I'll tab twice again. It's a swap. I'll tab twice again and type defaults. And I'll just give it one tab zero. Another tab is zero. That's our swap file setup. And I'll clear. 
Now we're going to create a sim link for our slash etc slash local time file ls slash user share zone info slash and I'm in America. Oops, not Antarctica, Techart. I'm in America and I can press enter and that shows all the things in America and I know that I'm in Los Angeles. Skid Row, baby. So I will do an ln dash sf slash user share zone info and I'll use America Los Angeles put a space and then slash etc local time we can run hw clock flag flag sys to hc finally we'll vim etc locale dot gen and we want to go down here uh, for me it's English so I'm looking for en us right here and I'm gonna unhash this line if you're from America this is probably what you need unless you want it ISO but you don't um, unhash that line and write this file I'll clear and finally we can do a locale dash gen and it'll generate our locales Let's take care of a couple more little things. We'll echo capital L-A-N-G equals E-N underscore U-S point U-T-F-8. That was the output of the command we just ran. And uh, we'll do bracket bracket to slash etc locale dot conf. Then we'll echo key map in caps equals, and for me it's US and that one's gonna bracket bracket to slash etc B console dot com now let's edit our slash etc host name and you can enter a host name here for me it's gonna be hyper arch um, but you could just put arch or you know arch t480 for what your computer's name is remember this name too mine is hyper capital arch. I'm going to save it and clear. We'll create our host file. We can edit slash etc hosts. We'll scroll to the end and I'm going to start with 127.0.0.1. That's the same that you want. Tab localhost. On the next line it will be colon colon one. Tab tab localhost. Final line 127.0.0.1 tab. And here you want your host name, which for me was hyperarch dot local domain. It could be whatever domain you want, but this will work. And then here again, hyperarch or your domain name. So we'll write that clear. Let's set the root password. So just type pass WD and set a password. Now we're going to install our system software. We're going to run Pac-Man. Flag S. Base Devel Blues for Bluetooth. Blues Utils. Cups for Printing. Dialog. DOS FS Tools. EFI Boot Manager. We're going to need that. Git Grub. And then we need Linux Headers. M Tools. Network Manager Applet and Network Manager OS Prober, in case we ever want to dual boot Windows or something. Pulse Audio Dash Bluetooth. We'll get Reflector. We'll want Wireless Underscore Tools. Might make things easier one day. WPA Supplicant, XDG User Durs, and XDG utils and let's run that I'll catch up with you in a minute all right we'll clear that now we're gonna edit slash etc mk init cpio dot conf we're gonna add a hook to our system go down to the hooks line and first of all if you didn't have keyboard and key map I'd add them right after auto detect. Let's find the block hook 
And after the block hook, we're gonna insert encrypt. That's gonna unencrypt our Lux partition. Save the file and I'll clear the screen. Now we'll build that with MK init CPIO flag P Linux. Okay, that's done, I'll clear it. Now we're gonna install grub. The command is grub dash install flag flag target equals x86 underscore 64 dash EFI, then dash dash EFI dash directory equals slash boot, and then dash dash boot loader dash ID equals capital grub. Run that. No errors reported. We'll do a grub make config dash o slash boot grub grub.cfg. Okay, now we need to find out the UUID of our Lux encrypted partition. For that, let's run a block ID, BLK ID. And if you look with me down to dev slash SDA2 line, you can see the type equals crypto underscore Lux. So we know that's the UUID that we need. Make sure you do not pick the part UUID. Go ahead and note that UUID for me, it ends with CB2A. Okay, I'll clear the screen. We'll add that in edit slash etc. default grub. We're gonna go down to the grub underscore CMD underscore Linux line. And we will insert texts in between the two quotes. The line we're gonna type is crypt device equals UUID in capital letters equals and then that exact UUID that we grabbed. Let me add mine. You can notice that mine ends in CB2A, which we grabbed from that last LS black command. Then you'll put a colon and the name LUKS root. As long as you're following along, yours will be the same. That's the name of our Lux partition. We'll put a space root equals slash dev slash mapper slash Lux root. Again, as long as you're following along, yours will be named Lux root also. If not, it's whatever you entered on that crypt setup open command. Let's save this file. And now we can make grub again. I'll clear the screen. Grub mkconfig dash o slash boot, oops, boot, grub, grub.cfg. Couple other things we need to do before we reboot. Let's do a systemctl enable network manager. Notice that the N and M are capitalized. We'll do a system CTL enable Bluetooth. All right, I'm gonna clear the screen. Now, if you wanna add a user that's sudo, you can do user add dash lowercase mg wheel for the wheel group. That's like the sudo group almost. And your username. That'll be tech art. Now do a pass WD for that username and set your password. Now to give that sudo access, type editor in all capitals equals nano if that's what you use, or for me it's vim, whatever your editor is, and then run vysudo. We're gonna go down and find the first wheel line, that's wheel space all equals all colon all, all. I'll remove two characters so that the percent of wheel is right on the start of the line like that. We'll write it and I'll clear the screen. And that's it, um, that is our bone stock installation. Let's exit the Chirut and we're ready to reboot. So I'll catch you on the flip. Okay, enter our Lux password when it asks. Notice how that's a text prompt there. And cool, here we are. We are at our bone stock vanilla arch install. And now you're gonna see the tech heart spice. Log into your user account.
I'll go ahead and set that font like I did earlier. You won't have to do this. Uh, to a nice sun font. And I'll clear the screen. First thing, we'll run IPA. If you're on ethernet and already have internet, great. You can ping 8.8.8.8 .8 to test it. I know I'm not connected. And now we have MNTUI. You can go into NMTUI and activate a connection for your Wi-Fi. Our system is connected. As I said, we can test it. And we are. First things first. Let's do a git clone https colon slash slash aur.archlinux.org slash yay.git. Yay allows us to install Arch AUR packages, which we definitely want. We'll cd into yay and we'll run make pkg si. As I let that run, I now prefer Peru. Peru is another Arch AUR helper, but I think it does a lot better of a job than Yay. Sometimes you need Yay, so I still install it, but I'd highly suggest you guys check out Peru. I really like it. I'll show you how to install it next. I'll clear the screen. I'll exit the Yay directory and I'll do rm that dash rf yay and now let's install peru so we'll do a git clone https colon slash slash aur dot arch linux dot org slash peru dot git we'll cd into peru and we'll run the same make package dash si All right, when that's done, I'll clear the screen. I'll exit the Peru directory, and I'll also remove the Peru directory. We can run yay as a test and see that it's installed. And we can run Peru as a test and see that it's installed. All right, let's get some drivers put on our system. Uh, sudo pacman s. And then you're either gonna install xf86 amd GPU if you're on an AMD chip or video dash Intel if you're on an Intel chip. I'm on an Intel chip. Let me show the NVIDIA guys the most basic packages that'll work for newer cards. You would run Pac-Man dash S NVIDIA, NVIDIA dash utils, and NVIDIA dash settings. These three packages will get lots of NVIDIA guys going. If you have an older NVIDIA card or a NVIDIA card that doesn't work with those, you'll have to go to the Arch Wiki Linux on NVIDIA and you can read down here of how to search for what card you have and how to install drivers for it. I'm not going to cover that. All I'm going to cover is the three packages that get the most NVIDIA people going. But again, I'm going to run for my trusty ThinkPad xf86-video intel all right i'll clear out now guys we have a really good vanilla bone stock arch linux installation with network manager and uh, peru and git and there you go but let's see some of the tech heart sauce on top to do so let's get some killer grub 2 themes the themes i have in mind are named dead sec grub themes if we scroll down you can see an installation command right here. We'll do that in a minute. But if you go down, you can see all these different cool themes that you can select for Grub and click one just to show y'all. So there's one of the themes you can have. I think we'll pick that one. Uh, its name is Spyware. There's all other ones that you can pick. We're gonna go with Spyware. So to get DeadSec themes installed, let's go back over to our Arch system and we're gonna run git clone dash dash depth one https colon slash slash git oh gitlab.com slash vandal byte slash deadsec dash grub dash theme dot git and let that go now we'll move into that directory i'm going to clear real quick and we'll run sudo python 3 deadsec theme dot pi dash dash install what did I say we wanted spyware, right? Yeah, spyware, so I'll press K, and you can pick 1080p or 1440, and color icons or white icons. It'll update Grub, and I'm gonna clear. 
Um, I'm gonna get rid of this directory. You can keep it if you wanna change those themes around. Now let's add a killer Plymouth screen that will give us a way cooler Lux encryption unlock than that standard text one. To do that, we'll use Peru, or you could use yay, dash s, Plymouth, dash theme, dash Optimus, dash git. The Optimus one that I'm talking about is actually a part of ADI 1090X's Plymouth themes. He has a GitHub and all or most of these are in the Arch Linux AUR. There's many, many different ones. I won't cover them all. My favorite that I found is Optimus. Uh, you can see right here, they're all in the AUR and uh, there's like four different sets of these. You can go through somewhere here and find a listing of all of them. Yeah, there's four packs and each pack has, you know, dozens if not more. You have to find one with a Lux encryption password addition to it. But at any rate, we're just gonna go with the Optimus one and you install that with Peru-S Plymouth-theme-optimus-git. All right, with that complete, let's also update to uh, Plymouth-git. We'll do Peru-S Plymouth-git. You will have to say yes to remove Plymouth and allow Plymouth-git. All right, now let's uh, sudo edit slash et cetera mkinitcpio.conf again. We have to edit that hooks line. We need to add Plymouth. I'll insert it just before encrypt, like so, and save that file. We've got some grub editing to do, so we'll do sudo edit slash et cetera default grub. We're gonna go to grub cmd line Linux default, and we want to make sure we add quiet splash to the end. So I already have quiet, I'm going to put a space and splash. We'll write that. Now we're going to do a sudo grub make config dash o slash boot grub grub.cfg. Now to set the Plymouth theme, we're gonna run sudo Plymouth-set-default-theme-capital R and Optimus. That will switch our theme to Optimus and it'll run mkinit cpio to get that new Plymouth uh, hook that we just added and you can see it's running the build hook Plymouth right above. All right, with that, you could sudo shut down now and you'd have the Grub2 theme and the Plymouth theme and we'll show that in a minute. I'm gonna show you one last thing. Depending on what you're gonna do with this installation, you might not want to choose this display manager, um, but I'm gonna show it to you because I love it so much. If you're gonna install something like GNOME or Plasma, you know, it's gonna come with its own um, display manager. But we're gonna go down to the console type and click on LY, L-Y. L-Y is a TUI display manager, it's just text, and it lets you in, log into a shell or, you know, GNOME or Hyperlint or whatever you're doing. And we will run sudo pacman-s L-Y. And then we'll run uh, system CTL enable ly.service. Uh, I'll probably need a sudo, well, it'll ask me. And then I'm just gonna do this to harden it a little bit. I'm gonna do systemctl disable getty at tty2.service. This prevents people logging in from spawning on top of lie. Last, I'm gonna run sudo edit, etc. cetera, lie config.ini. And I'm just gonna edit some stuff. I want animation on, so that'll be true. I want it to be zero. You can either have this fire or uh, C matrix rain. I'll edit my clock later. I like to make it a 12 hour, but I'm gonna also turn on big clock. Everybody wants a big clock and I'll save that file. Okay guys, with all that done, we're finished. Let's give ourselves a sudo shutdown now. And I'm gonna reboot to show you the fruits of our labor. What we're booting into is a tech heart sauce Arch Linux install.
There's our new Grub 2 theme. We could have picked from 10. Here's our Plymouth theme for unlocking our Lux encrypted partition. I think it looks awesome. When you turn the computer off, you'll also see that animation with no password. And bang guys, there we have our LY window manager and check out that fire animation. I think lie is the only thing that you might not want to install, but boy, I think it's better than SVDN any day. So I'll get logged in and that's our awesome tech heart Arch Linux vanilla plus the sauce, baby, install. It was fun hanging out with y'all. See ya.